we met on the set of a film that I wrote called Dead Birds um, back in 2003. Uh, Adam was shooting a film. We were shooting in Alabama, near Mobile, Alabama, and Adam was actually making uh, his first feature film, Homesick, just north of there. And uh, the writer of that film, Evan Katz, uh, was, who's now uh, writing children's movies, actually, um, came to interview me for Fangora Magazine, and, um, or interview everyone and they were interviewing me on set, and Adam just came to hang out and see like this weird horror western that was shooting in Alabama. And um, we just kind of hit it off. They ended up hanging out on set. It was a terrible shooting day. Um, that film, you know, was a very difficult shoot. Um, and, you know, and we kind of just started talking about John Woo movies and, you know, and uh, stayed in touch. And then later when Adam started making kind of more short films, um, you know, it kind of seemed like we might be a good collaboration, uh, you know, because I, I tend to, I tend, I was doing more commercial stuff at the time, and, uh, but I kind of was into, um, you know, I was kind of envious of the creative freedom that he had, just making movies completely outside of the Hollywood system for no money, and I think he was kind of envious of, of the fact that I was able to make a small income. Um, so, uh, so yeah, so we kind of hit it off uh, and started, you know, started collaborating. The way that Adam and I work together is he'll have literally just kind of like the germ of an idea. Like, oh, if we make a movie about a serial killer, maybe people will actually want to watch it. And then I just go off completely on my own and try to find a way that that, I mean, it's actually interesting. We tend to make films that we don't, like in a genres that we don't like. Like I don't like serial killer movies um, for various reasons. I, I, I think they're annoying and I think mostly that story has just been completely played out. Um, so the idea of doing a serial killer movie initially didn't appeal to me, but then it was kind of like, how would I do something very different from that? And, um, you know, and that's kind of where, you know, Horboy Did I came from. And, but Adam didn't know the story or the characters or the fact that I, I was out of chronological order. Um, you know, any, any of the story elements were all new to him when he saw my finished screenplay. Similarly, when Adam edits and shoots, I mean, I'm there when he shoots and I, and I look at the dailies with him and stuff, but when he assembles his rough cut, I stay completely out of the editing room. Um, so in other words, we try to collaborate, but in a way that's fun and exciting by showing each other finished products. So Adam will give me like, oh, do a serial killer movie, or our next one was a home invasion movie, where he's just like, let's do a home invasion movie next. I was like, I hate home invasion movies. He's like, perfect. So I went off and I wrote a home invasion movie, but he didn't know the tone, uh, the characters, the story, anything about it until I handed him the finished script. And he's like, great, let's shoot it. And then he shot it. And then he works in the editing room. And then he, I don't see anything until he has a rough cut. You know, and Adam tends to edit very quickly and his rough cuts tend to be not that rough. Um, you know, he does like, like fairly, fairly involved sound mixes and stuff. So I get to see, he gets to see a finished script you know, before he sees a single page, and I get to see more or less a finished film before I see any like rough cut or you know like like, which is good because I'd get a lot of anxiety. I think <laughs> if uh, if he showed me like rough footage that wasn't working, I'd be like, oh, we just ruined our lives for no reason. What fun we're having came about in a kind of interesting way, which is Adam did shoot this short, Hot Boys, uh, which centered around a date rape, and instead of cutting it down, it was like a 15-minute short, which. Adam and I are pretty brutal with our cuts. Like we, you know, we kind of believe that no movie should be over 90 minutes unless it really is doing something quite epic. Same with short films. If your short film's 15 minutes, I'm bored, man. So he was like, you know, this is a 15 minute short film, but I like it. I don't want to cut it down to seven minutes. So instead of cutting it down to seven minutes, why don't I make like three others, connect the plot lines and make an 80 minute feature, um, which was a great idea. But, I guess the, what was easy for me as a writer is it wasn't like he just came to me and it's like, I want to do a story about date rape, um, you know, write something about date rape. I actually was able to see two of the shorts that he'd already done for the film, uh, the Hot Boys and The Sleep Creep. Um, and then he was like, you know, and I want you to do the final one, come up with an idea for the final one. And I was able to look at what the first two had done and kind of think to myself, in, in the case of this particular project, I think people, because I come from such a genre background and I tend to write, like my first several scripts that I got made were supernatural horror or creature horror, um, I think people tend to expect my segment of the date rape movie to be the most extreme. Actually, Evan Katz, who wrote Pop School and Homesick, his are definitely the most like, extreme in terms of content. Uh, but because I was able to actually see those first, I was able to respond to them and be like, okay, if the fourth segment is like this, it's going to be exhausting. The fourth segment should actually just be as realistic and as grounded as possible. Um, and so I was able to actually like look at the date rape shorts that previously existed and, um, and figure out, you know, if this is a four part movie and I'm doing the fourth part and these are the first two parts and I know the third part Evan's writing, so it's going to be also like 
fairly, you know, it's going to have some extreme content. Um, you know, I, I don't want to try to like outdo what Adam and Evan are coming up with in terms of the genre stuff. I should, in fact, dial it back as much as I can into, you know, this isn't so much like an absurd story about date rape, but this is like how this actually happens um, and how it could happen to, how two perfectly nice people could end up having this terrible thing happen to them.